First and foremost, I like to say Carl Halalium, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Makakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone that taught us this truth. Shalom and salutations to the hopeful elect. I keep out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth. Presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice no matter what. Day in and day out, week in and week out. As the scriptures tell us to do shalom again, brothers. All right. Shalom to the very, very, very few sisters that still hanging in there as well. Hanging in there as well. And the brother Yarmaya from the Great Millstone, Chicago camp. And um, basically, I'm just coming, you know, to give you a lesson. To, uh, basically coming at you with another lesson. To give you another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All right? And it's just a condition, man. The condition that we in is a grueling, harsh condition. But the battle, it gets toughest to the end. You know, it gets tougher to the end. And our people, all right, they don't care about the Most High. They don't believe in the Most High. And, and they think everything's a damn joke. That's why the scripture said, Yasharon, which is another word for Israel, have waxed fat and kicked. You know, they got these goodies. They got these trinkets, and they not crying. But the men of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Starting from the apostles and the elders on down, we're crying. We're crying the sign for the abominations that's done in the midst thereof. As it says, what the men of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah should do in the, in the book of Ezekiel. We're crying the sign for the abominations that's done in the midst thereof. Because cause why not? You know, our women get awarded for adultery. You know, our people celebrate these idolatrous holidays. Our sons and daughters get rewarded for joining the, the alphabet community. You know, it's, it's no accountability. It's no judgment. He said, I looked and seen that there was no judgment. He that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And, and when you're trying to be righteous in this world, man, it's, it's hard, man. It's hard. It's, it's, it's rough. Not that keeping the commandments of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, tedious. It's a glorious thing. But the wickedness of this world, man. It hammers on you, man. And the pride of these wicked ass people, man, it hammers on you. So here it is, we crying, but we taking it on the chin. Cause we know. It, it goes into it in Luke the sixth chapter. The woe to those, the ones who fat, the ones who eat now, for they shall hunger. Alright? Cause in a minute, all these goodies are gonna be gone. All these trinkets, all these vanities, all these things that the two-thirds of our people and these heathens glorify. And, and Vaskin is going to be gone, man. It's going to be soon gone. And the spirit of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai is moving throughout the earth rampantly, man. None of these people see that it's the end. None of these people see World War III being set. None of these people see the mark of the beast, the RFID chip being set, being pushed on a daily basis. None of them see the gradualism, all right, of Esau brewing his war machine. All right, in his his new world order agenda. Nobody sees this because they're lost in the sauce because they're made fat. You know, they have these goodies. They can still go to the liquor store, you know, here in Chicago. You know, Esau opening the um, 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 bars and things back up, you know, so, so niggas can go commit adultery. They can go simp. You know, they can go buy a bitch a $500 dinner who wouldn't have had a damn conversation with him with not a day in their life, <laughs> you know, outside of getting that free meal. And that free drink, so they can go home with a dry dick in an empty pocket, looking stupid, you know? You know or just to uh, go deal with another man's wife, you know, at some bar or some restaurant, you know? Just, just, just because it's the pride. That's part of the pride these niggas get away with in this society. But, 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 but those are just a couple amongst many, you know? But this is a vexation of the spirit, man. But the men of the Lord hate these things. Hey, that's why the scripture says what? The the just are an abomination to the unjust and the unjust are an abomination to the just. He told the prophet Ezekiel to make that forehead, his forehead hard against theirs. It's adamant flint. We have to be hard towards these people. We have to be hard towards the society. They hate us. You know, they choose every way to justify this wickedness. But at the same time, while we crying, we cry in tears of pain, but we cry in tears of joy as well because the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is coming. And we're going to be the first fruits of that. 
the Akim out here that endured to the end and every sin that we did do, it's not even going to be marked. We're going to get the sure mercies of David. Um, I tell you, as blessed is the man who the, uh, uh, the most high does not impute sin. All right. I think that's in Romans. You, I said the words enough. So if you want to look it up, you can type it in or say it into the Google. And then say KJV after that, you know. I don't try to butcher the scriptures in the walk and talk too much, you know. I quote them as close as I can and I get the book, you know. These, hey, but in the, but in the script, hey, when we really under the New Testament, when we really under the New Covenant, we're going to have these laws in our inward parts. And we ain't going to be able to even see them. But to, 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 to get that, to get the first round pick of that, we got to live blameless as possible. Like the screw, not knowing you're an Israelite and committing all type of wickedness and abominations and thinking you just cool because you're an Israelite. All these stupid ass rappers talking about their Israelite. It don't stop there, nigga. What did we How would y'all tell the rich man? Go and sell everything you have. Hey, because them goodies ain't going to get you into the kingdom of heaven. Scripture tell you like it's a camel trying to go through the eye of needle for a rich man to get into the kingdom. All right? It's hard for a camel to stoop down and get there. It's a hard, it's a straight, this is a straight and narrow path. This is the hard path. This is the hard gates, <laughs> like, like in Spartans. This is the real shit, man. But we going through this play, pain, man. Like I said, we take small L's for the big W, and that big W is the kingdom of heaven, man. Well, we gonna have a, we're going we're gonna to be real men. We're going to have real women, all right? We're going to have real food. We're going to have real dominion. We're going to have wealth. We're going to have power, all right? We're going to have everything. We're going to have the, the law, statutes, and commandments written in our hearts, in our minds. We're going to have everything that Esau has deprived us. All right? But we got to fight this fight. And we got to cry these cries to laugh those laughs, man. Yahweh Shai even said a good one. Yahweh Shai said, I will, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until I drink it new with you in the kingdom of the heaven. Right. Hey, the scriptures tell you, man, be careful who you bless. It's a rock, man. You probably the family pedophile or something. Nigga, I, man, please. Nigga, please. But nevertheless, um, <laughs> that nigga threw me off track. But nevertheless, hey, we ain't gonna have to worry about that, though. Begging, being bombs, none of that. All right? Yahweh Shai said in my father's house are many mansions. And that goes into uh, planets when you go into it. The Lord is gonna have a vast amount of things for us to rule. He's gonna have a vast amount of glory set up for us. He's gonna have a, a and man, it's gonna be a beautiful thing, man. And that's what we're fighting for. Hey, the scriptures say, rise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. It is the sore vexation, man. This this the place will, will destroy you. It will pollute you, man. Cause because being in a rat race and trying to fit in this society, trying to go along and get along, and trying to stoop down to the level of this foolishness. Now, mind you, you know, be wise as serpents and harmless as the dove. You know, so you gotta camouflage to an extent. But agreeing with the ways of this world and the fashion of this world, which the scriptures tell you clearly is fading away and you clearly see that, you have to be a wicked nigga, man. We know we ain't got nothing here. The scriptures say he that is friends with the world is the enemy of the most high. Ain't nothing here, man. This place is full of foolish, foolishness, wickedness, sodomy, adultery, idolatry, vanity. And everything that a Hebrew Israelite is supposed to abstain from. It's a free for all on wickedness, man. Hell yeah, we crying in this place. We don't agree with a goddamn thing in it. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, he going to deliver us, man. He going to deliver us on them cherries, man. And this place is going to get eviscerated. It's going to get nuked with thermonuclear fire. And the Lord ain't going to give a goddamn about you niggas. And before that, there's going to be the four sword judgments, man. I know y'all like saying we right repeating. We damn right we repeating ourselves. We sticking to the script. Ain't no remixes to the scriptures. All right? Scriptures say that the prophets of old prophesied of the, the, the <laughs> great, great, against great kingdoms. Jeremiah 28 and 8. And that's what we're doing. He said what they said. We said what he said. Call aloud me. How about show me how it shall. We're going to say it to the end. All right? This place is through, man. You all can't man. These niggas. They laughing now, they gonna cry later, man. How about Shimmy How Shai is gonna unleash, unleash on this place, man. A devastation. Hey, you gotta, I say it, man. How Shai died the worst death ever for the Hebrew Israelites, for the elected Hebrew Israelites, really. And he took it like a man. 
But he said he wept when he seen what was coming upon Jerusalem. Watch when the Lord get rid of you niggas, man. I don't want to be a part of it. Hopefully we are that number starting with the elders and apostles on down. Call and allow me. How will Bashimi? How will Shai? Bashim will cock a dust. Devil honest to the elders and apostles of the great millstone and to the hopeful elect. Endure. Shalom.